All right, guys, so we're gonna come down to our mats and we're gonna lay flat on our back with our arms nice and long down by our side. Draw the rib cage down and in, draw navel to spine. We're gonna hover those arms just up off the mat and we're gonna float that right leg up to tabletop position with the arms reaching and floating. So for those of you that are not going to articulate the spine, you're going to hold here and you're going to add some arm movement. You could do that with your Pilates ring. You could do it with some light weights or your active motion bar. Moving the arms through full range without arching the back or flaring the rib cage. You can continue with that movement. And then for those of you that like to add that articulation, we're going to work into that pelvic tilt. So we're going to exhale to tilt the hips back, imprint the low back, activate that left hamstring. Notice there's little to no movement in that right leg and then curl back to neutral. Exhale to tilt. Imprint that low back, draw navel to spine, pause for a breath, and then curl back to neutral. We're going to add some arms to this now. So we're going to exhale to curl back, sending those arms back overhead, dropping the rib cage. My arms are hovering because if I go too low, I'm going to end up arching the back, opening the ribs and then coming back to that neutral lumbar position and arms down at the side. We'll go for two more here. And again, you can do this with or without your pelvic tilt. If you need to keep the flexion and that movement through the vertebras in your low back out of this movement. And one more. Tilting back, getting nice and hollow. Finding that anchoring in that left foot, that left leg, reach it long, draw ribs and abs in, and then slow to reset. Holding here in tabletop position, we're going to rest the arms. You could keep that hover, and we're going to exhale to extend that leg straight up to stretch, and bending that knee on the inhale. Exhale to extend and straighten, stretch that leg long and bending the knee. If you're using weights or props, add some arm work to it. Grab that Pilates ring, add some presses. You could add bicep curls if you have lightweight dumbbells or go back to those arm overhead movements. As you exhale, leg straightens, arms reach overhead and slow to reset. So with these arm and leg movements, we're trying to challenge our core, challenge our stability, and that strong posture to maintain that neutral position and that stability in our core. One more. Bending the knee, placing that foot flat on the mat, just in line with the sit bone, and we'll float the left leg up to tabletop position. Arms are going to hover, and on the exhale, we're going to curl back, imprint the low back. Take a breath, and then exhale to articulate back to neutral. Draw those bottom ribs in. Also, note how the top of my shoulder right here about for two inches is not touching the mat. It's just the blade of the shoulder. Just the shoulder blade is connected to the floor. So I'm not going to throw my upper back into extension. And we're going to add those overhead movements with the arms. Exhale to tilt if you're tilting and articulating, reaching long overhead. And on that next exhale, we come back to that start position, neutral spine. 
Exhale, tilt, reaching overhead as you draw the ribs and abs in. Strong through that midline. Keep the core tight. One more. Arms will rest for just a moment, and we're going to extend that left leg long on the exhale, and inhale to bend that knee. Reaching the arms longer, tucking those shoulder blades down the back of the body. We exhale to extend, and inhale to bend. Really get into that lengthening of the leg. So hip is seating into the floor as the leg is stretching up for the ceiling. So you have this opposite, oppositional stretch and force coming through the leg. Adding the arms. Exhale to straighten. Send those arms overhead. Relaxing the neck. Taking the stress out of the top of the shoulders. And last one. Placing that foot flat to the mat. We're going to go into our shoulder bridge or pelvic curl. You could add a pillow or your Pilates ring between the knees, something to activate those inner thigh muscles. Float the arms just up off the mat. Stretch the arms long, and then let the hands rest. If you tend to shrug those shoulders, you could move the arms out to that T position. And on the exhale, we're going to curl back, sink the low back, scoop and lift the hips as you bridge up to the top of that shoulder bridge, pausing for that breath, and then exhale to curl back down. Now you may want to scale back the height of your hips so you don't put that into your low back or your hip flexors. So working these smaller scoops so you can maintain that engagement and control through the abs, through the glutes and hamstrings, and then curling down. If you don't want to articulate, keep that neutral spine. You lift the hips, send the knees forward. And slow to reset. We'll do two more in the best position that's working for you. And as you start to send the knees forward, we have to create that movement in the ankle to allow the knees to glide back on the way down and reach forward on the way up. Same thing with the bridge, with that strict bridge. Exhale to bridge and lift. Inhale, pause. And exhale to come back down. We're gonna interlace our hands behind the head, slide those shoulders back and down, and we're going to go into our chest lift. A little forward fold of the elbows so we can connect the rib cage into our center line. We exhale to lift the shoulders up, pausing at the top here. We're going to hang out here for a moment. We're going to see what maximum lift we can get out of the chest. We're keeping that little gap at the low back. So we're not adding more flexion through the spine. We're just folded at the mid ribs, hugging the underarms down. Let your head fall back into your hands, creating that support, that hammock for your neck and your head. One more breath and then slow to lower down. 
it's this gray zone right around in here that we tend to reactivate those neck muscles. So we need to let the head be fully supported by the hands and arms. Exhale to fold and lift. You can either stay up and hold longer to support the head and the neck more, or we're gonna add some more repetitions for those of you that wanna move in and out of the chest lift. Exhale to fold and lift. We're going to go into our modified single leg extensions. You could do this with or without the chest lift. So feel free to go flat on the back as you inhale to extend that right leg long. And exhale to bring it back. Inhale to reach and extend and straighten longer. Connect to that oblique. Don't let the hip slide out with the leg. Reaching long, folding a little higher. Play around with the arms a little bit now. We'll bring our arms down by our side and as the leg extends, we bring those arms up overhead and slow to bring it back. Inhale to open and reach. You can do this with or without the chest lift. Add some lightweight dumbbells to the hands. Add your Pilates ring or your active motion bar. One more on this side. Placing the foot back down, hands come behind the head, reseat back down to the mat. Arms are gonna come out to a T. We're gonna rotate the head to the right. Let the right ear settle towards the mat. And smooth as we rotate to the left. Left ear towards the mat. Sink that right shoulder blade, the right side of the rib cage, down towards the floor as you stretch the neck. One more right. Opening up and stretching along the bicep as well across and through to the other side. To that left side, hands interlace if you're adding the chest lift, glide those shoulders down, create that support for the head and the neck. We exhale, fold and lift. Coming up to that high position, floating that left foot, we inhale to extend that left leg. Straighten it more. And exhale to bend the knee, drawing that foot back. whether you're up and lifted or flat on your back. Inhale to open, keep the chest up if you're working in that chest lift. And exhale to reset. You can add back those lightweight hand weights, two, three, five pounds, whatever works best for you, for your shoulders and your arms. Or adding in that Pilates ring or active motion bar. And last two. Foot rest back to the mat. We curl back. And again, arms out to that T position. Flatten the shoulder blades. 
and look right. Right ear towards the floor. Now lift the chin and look up over the right corner of your mat. As you sink that left shoulder straight down towards the floor for a deeper stretch along the neck and along kind of the pec front of the shoulder and along the bicep. Chin comes back down to neutral. We roll across over to that left side. Left ear to mat. Right shoulder connects down and the chin lifts to look up. To stretch. Back to neutral. We'll do one more each side. Across and over to the right. Anchor across the mid ribs. Chin up. Take another breath and then chin down. Roll across. Last one over to that left side. Restretch those arms. Draw the ribs in and chin up. One more breath. And back to neutral. Leaving the arms out at a T, unless you like them down by your side, we're gonna bring both knees up to tabletop position and back on the top of the hips, at the back of the hip. Draw the abs and the ribs in, and we're gonna inhale to lower that right foot towards the floor, and exhale to bring it back up. We're gonna work one leg at a time. And again, you can scale your movement, small movements, more intensity in the core, work just as well. You want to track that hip, making sure that as you lower the foot, you don't start to arch and shift the body. That's using your back to try to find the mat. Keep that midline tight. See if you can add a little bit more speed now. We're going to alternate from side to side. So as that right leg lifts, left leg is lowering. Trying to keep the same angle at the knee as we switch from leg to leg. Last one left. We're up in tabletop. If you like the hand weights, bring them into the work here. Arms are going to go straight up for the ceiling, and we're going to go right leg, left arm for a modified dead bug. Alternate. Don't worry about touching the floor with the arm or touching the floor with the foot. Keep that midline fully engaged, strong posture through the spine, keeping that low back in neutral. Focusing on that stationary arm and leg to keep it from moving. It's going to want to shift. Last one. And draw the knees in towards the chest. Stretching through the low back. We'll reach for our toes or the back of our legs. Knees out towards the shoulders. Draw down into happy baby. And then we rock from hip to hip. And allow the low back, the hips to decompress and stretch. Bringing the knees to center, we send that left leg long across the mat. Draw the right knee towards the chest, towards the shoulders. Sink the shoulders down the back. 
Lengthen the leg on the left. Draw that right knee in. Now back the right knee off a little bit. Grab it with the left hand. Right arm out to your T. You're going to look right as you pull that left leg, excuse me, the right leg across and to your left shoulder. Stretching that right hip down for the mat like you're getting the outside of that right hip to drop down. Coming back to center, we'll switch sides, sending that right leg long across the mat. Tuck the shoulders down, left knee pulls in, lengthen that right side more. Pressing the back of the leg down towards the floor. Backing that left knee off a little bit. Left arm out to our T. The right hand pulls the left leg cross body towards that right shoulder. And the outside of the left hip and thigh is reaching down and away as the top of the leg towards that knee is coming across. Looking out over that left hand. And back to center. Bending the knees, placing the feet flat at the mat. We're gonna interlace our hands behind the head Slide those shoulders down. Exhale to fold and lift the head, neck, and chest. And we're going to bring the legs up to tabletop. Hold in here. We're going to go for our chest lift with rotation. If you're not rotating, go to single leg extensions to work the obliques. Otherwise, hold here. And we're going to exhale to rotate right. Inhale to center. Exhale to rotate left and inhale back, keeping the weight on the hips. You might find that as you rotate to one side, you get a little lift on one hip. Really try to press the hips down. Feel that even pressure across the back of the pockets. And again, your head needs to be resting comfortably in your hands. You could do this flat on your back without the chest lift and work those single leg extensions to keep it out of the neck and out of the shoulders. Last one to the left and back to center. We're gonna hold here and we're gonna add a rotation with these single legs. So as I go right, left leg extends and switch. Keep working that rotation. For those of you that are not rotating, you're gonna tap the opposite hand to that knee. So left hand to right knee as you send that leg forward and back. And you can add an overhead movement. So you're adding that extra oblique engagement by taking one hand overhead. We also get this cross body work which activates that proprioceptive awareness of where our body is in space as we cross the hemispheres. For those of you still in that rotation, we'll do two more to each side. Back to center. Extend the legs up towards the ceiling with or without your chest lift. Grab that right leg, lower the left leg towards the floor, extend it farther. And two pulses to stretch that right leg, slow to change to the left. You can hold the calf muscle. You can hold the bottom leg, especially, or up the leg here, especially if you're laying flat on your back. (sighs) 
Working through this hamstring pull one. Last one left. Bring the knees in. Go into that butterfly stretch. Soles of the feet together. Knees angle out. Let the legs rest down on the floor. And rock from hip to hip. Let the whole front of the hip open and stretch. You can add that rotation through the neck to open up. Bringing the knees back to center. We're going to go for our figure four stretch. So the lower part of your right leg rests on the top of the left. Left leg to tabletop. Reach through and then pressing that right knee away from the shoulder without the hips twisting. One more. And then we'll switch sides. Start with the right foot down to set the left leg and then up to tabletop, reach through and reaching and pressing that left knee away from the shoulder. One more breath. Unwind and we'll bring our feet back down to the mat. Reaching our arms up overhead, we draw the rib cage down and in. And you can do this once again with or without that chest lift. We're gonna exhale to fold and lift. And inhale to reset. Exhale to lift. We're going to start adding some more leg positions here. About every three will change. And you don't have to change. You can keep on with more modified positions. Right leg to tabletop. And slow to reset. We're adding these single leg lifts with the upper body, right foot down and left leg coming up. Remember you can add lightweight hand weights. You can add your Pilates ring, your active motion bar. Scale as you needed and feet and legs together. Both legs are going to pull up to tabletop as we exhale to so bring our chest up, knees to tabletop. Inhale, open. Try to toe tap without arching. If you like the chest lift, you could also stay up, stay lifted and just work the legs. Legs stay here, inhale back, and exhale, legs extend, and inhale to back to start position. Hold here, legs open, close, reach mom. Straighter through the legs. Back together. Hold if you can. Walk those legs down. And walk them back up. Slow to lower. And slow to lift. Smaller movements is needed with or without the chest lift. Last one up. 
And we're going to do little down circles coming down, circling out, back up and around. Rest as needed. And we reverse, up, circle out. One more. And knees hug into chest. And we're gonna stretch and rest. Bringing the legs over to the right. If the rotation works well for you, Otherwise, work that butterfly stretch or go back to the figure four or any of the previous stretches that we worked on. This rotation is coming through the mid ribs. Allow the neck to stretch and relax. Relax the jaw. Unwind. And we'll walk our feet and our legs over to the left as we look out over the right arm. And we come back to center. We're going to work one last supine exercise and we're going to do our spine twist supine. So that's once again, that thoracic rotation. And for those of you that are not going to be rotating, you're going to go back to your single leg extension, but then add an opening and draw it back. So you're going to alternate from leg to leg, small little opening from side to side. For those of you that are twisting, you could add the Pilates ring between the knees or at the hands. And we're going to inhale, take the legs, the hips over to the right, anchor that left shoulder and exhale to come back to center. You're rolling from pocket to pocket, hip to hip. The shoulder blades are anchoring you into your mat. It's an inhale to take it to the right and exhale to center. We're going to add some leg extensions. We're going to the right. Straighten those legs. Straight legs come back to center. We bend to tabletop. Tabletop takes us left and reach. Rebend. Reset the ribs. Draw abs in tighter. Navel to spine. Find that foundation in the shoulders. One more each side. And bending the knees. We're going to place the feet down. We're going to work our roll up to come up to a seated position. Or you can just come up and get started up in that seated position. Arms are overhead. We inhale to bring them forward as the head, neck, chest lifts. And exhale to curl. Rounding through the back, curling and rolling up. Shoulders over hips. Slide those shoulders back and down and sit tall. We're gonna come onto our left side for some side leg work. Now you can do this one up on your forearm or laying flat head on the bicep, whichever gives you the best stability and the best engagement through your core. I like being on the forearm because I like that extra challenge of keeping my spine in neutral and not sinking into my neck and my shoulder. So I'm going to float that top right leg and I'm going to exhale to lift and slow to lower. Keeping that nice straight line for the torso so you're not sinking deeper towards the mat. 
Reset your upper body. Every few reps, check in with your shoulder and your neck. And again, you can always lay flat on your side. We're gonna hover here and we're gonna go for a little forward circles. Nice and slow. I'm kind of tacking my hip to make sure that I don't get a lot of movement in my torso or in my pelvis. And then reverse direction. Bending the knees, drawing the heels in. We're gonna go for our side plank. You can do this with straight legs for more of a challenge. Right arm goes straight up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, we're gonna lift the hips up and forward. Ribs knit in, draw navel to spine, squeeze through glutes and inner thighs. You could even straighten that top leg for more challenge. And slow and controlled, dropping down. And we're gonna flip over face down before we change to the other side. Arms are gonna come out to a T position. I'm gonna make a fist, hitchhiker thumb. So thumb is up. My nose, my forehead is floating above the mat with my arms out to a T. Tuck that tailbone, engage glutes and abdominals and we're gonna inhale to lift. Head, neck, chest and arms. And as I lower, I'm gonna keep my hands floating up off the mat. Inhale to lift and exhale to lower. Have that extension coming from the mid back just below the shoulder blades. Squeeze through inner thighs and glutes. And two more. Hands come by the side. The toes tuck under. We're going to snake up. And sit and stretch back. Reaching long through the arms and the spine. Stretching the crown of the head for your mat as your tailbone reaches back for the wall. And then we're gonna restack the spine, curling up, tailbone tucks, hips tuck under. Start to roll and curl, opening up the front of the hip as you restack. Reaching up nice and tall, nice and long, fingers interlaced, Stretch towards the ceiling, lengthen the spine long, and arms come down to your side, and we'll switch to that right side. So once again, you can be on your forearm, or flat head on the bicep. The choice is yours. As I said, I like being on the forearm. I like refocusing my attention to my neck and my shoulder and keeping this nice clean angle. Floating that top left leg, I'm gonna exhale to lift and inhale to lower. Nice and strong through that leg. You've got that good tension reaching out through the heel. The bottom right leg is strong, anchoring you to the mat. One more. And we're going to hover and we're going to work those little forward circles. We circle forward and back. Forward, up and back. Tacking and pinning that hip so we're not hinging out of position. There's no fluid movement through the spine, through the torso. You're strong and rigid. And reverse directions, kicking back. Whoop. 
up and forward. Got a little too excited on that last one there. Nice and smooth. And last two. Bending the knees, pulling the heels back. We're going to set ourselves up for that side plank, either from the knees or straight legs, whichever you prefer. And on that exhale, we're going to lift the hips, bring them forward. Head and neck is aligned with the rest of the spine. Nice and straight and long. Breathing. Focusing on that active engagement through the glutes and the inner thighs as you bring the ribs and the abdominals in deeper towards the back. Extend that top leg for more challenge. One more breath. And bend the knee. Dropping the hip down, we're going to flip over and we're going to finish in a center plank. So hands, wrists are underneath the shoulders. You could do this from the knees. So you're open through the front of the hips, trying not to let the belly hang towards the mat. Or we're going to pop up onto the toes. You could also be on your forearms if you don't like being on your hands and your wrists. Shoulders back, glutes are strong. Feel as if you're squeezing into a pillow at the between the knees and inner thighs. And focus on that breath. Driving the heels down towards the mat behind you. Draw navel to spine a little bit deeper. Three more breaths. One more. And push back into that downward dog. Sinking the heels towards the floor. Slide those shoulders down. Draw the abs to your back. And walk your hands back towards your feet, nice and slow. Feel free to bend the knees if you'd like, that'll soften the hamstring, reduce some of that pressure on the low back, let the head hang. Take a breath. And then on your next exhale, we're gonna tuck the tailbone, tuck the hips, draw those shoulders back and down. Restack the spine segment by segment all the way up. Reaching up nice and long towards the ceiling. Stretch the arms, stretch the spine. And arms reset down to your side. All right, guys. Great work today. Awesome job.